Hey guys, this is Crystal High Queen. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to do a Divine Masculine reading. This is going to be from 25th through 28th of April 2022. This is for the Twin Flame Collective, guys, <clears throat> in 3D separation. It's just energy and not gender specific. Just for the sake of the reading, I'll be calling the Divine Masculine as he and the Divine Feminine as she. <clears throat> this is a general reading, guys, so it will not resonate with all of you. <clears throat> If you want to get personal insights into your own situation, please do reach out for a personal reading with me. All my details are mentioned below in the description box. Okay, so as I was, you know, pre-shuffling my cards and clearing the energies in the space, <clears throat> I was getting a visual of someone visiting their old workplace and really reminiscing about the memories they have spent in that workplace or you know a place <clears throat> i feel this is the divine masculine really reminiscing about the good times spent with their divine feminines during this time period okay <clears throat> Sorry about the itchy throat, guys. Um, I'm sure you'll excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> what is going on with the Divine Masculines, please? From 25th through 28th of April 2022. What is their strongest energy during this time period, please? Thank you. Okay. Um, Sangha, community, and the waterfall in the reverse. So, immediately I'm getting that the Divine Masculine is trying to distract himself with, you know, some other people around them. Maybe they're trying to go out, have a drink or two, going to a bar with friends, because they don't want to feel very emotional about the Divine Feminine and this situation with her. <clears throat> With the waterfall in the reverse. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> what is going on with the Divine Feminine, please, during this time period? What's her strongest energy? Okay. The light of the world in the reverse. Number 10. It's a major arcana. And one more. Okay, two more. <clears throat> the King of Scrolls and the King of Keys in the reverse. Okay, so the Divine Feminine might be feeling a bit distressed or really hopeless that the Divine Masculine is just never going to come, never going to approach her. He's just going to keep thinking about making this approach, but he's actually not doing anything about it. <clears throat> so there might be... Some somewhat, you know, kind of a feeling of disappointment here during this time period. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> we'll, you know, we'll we'll get clarifications, guys. So don't worry about that. <clears throat> What is happening with the Divine Masculine in his physical reality, please, during this time period? What is happening with the Divine Masculine in his physical reality, please? Thank you. Seven of Wands. <clears throat> okay, so he's trying to fight his feelings. He's trying to fight what he's thinking or feeling about his Divine Feminine. Really trying to put effort and I feel... You know, because he really wants to take a leap of faith here. But I feel his ego is somewhat in the way. But he, I feel he's really desiring to make an offer or to communicate in some manner or take this leap of faith. Let me see what happens, right? Let me see. But then again, he's trying to fight it. No, no, it's not a good idea. Let, let me just, you know, step back. It's okay. 
So yeah, really trying to fight it. And maybe he's trying to distract himself with going out with some other people here. Could be his friends. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What is he thinking about as Divine Feminine? 515 on the clock, guys. So this situation is going to change for the good. So don't worry about it, okay? Energies keep changing. They never remain the same. So yeah, it's just for this time period, 25th through 28th, whatever is happening. What is he thinking about his Divine Feminine, please? What's in his headspace about her? <clears throat> so yeah. <clears throat> okay, the fact is that he's in love, intensely in love with her, with her guts, with her honesty, right? And he really desires to offer this cup of love, so much so that he's actually not able to concentrate anywhere else. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. With the King of Cups here, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. <clears throat> okay, let's see. With the Six of Forces, which is like the Six of Cups in, in the reverse, it's like he's a bit disappointed. Okay, he's, he's a bit disappointed maybe in himself. And he's just really trying to distract himself from feeling this way. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, what is he feeling about his Divine Feminine during this time period, please? What is he feeling about her? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have the Two of Swords here. So he's... The one thing is that he's really not trusting his intuition. He's trying to block himself again. We have a strong energy of blocking himself. <clears throat> Why is the Two of Swords here, please? Seven to seven on the clock, guys. So it, it's some kind of a news which is coming in. Seven to seven is symbolic of news or a good news okay why is the two of swords here please <sighs> okay <clears throat> nine of cups in the river so in the upright this is what he truly desires but he's too stubborn to do about it just sitting there with his hands folded not doing about it even though he knows this is his actual wish fulfillment in the reverse extremely sad <clears throat> emotionally unfulfilled so i i feel that he's you know he he's he, he really wants to make a move here. He, that's what he's desiring, but he keeps blocking himself. <clears throat> because he's really upset that this is not going anywhere. But, you know, this is a bold choice. This is a bold move that he needs to make. And somewhat he's, he's mentally a bit <clears throat> um, not prepared for what's to come. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> okay, what's his confession, please? What does he want to confess to his Divine Feminine during this time period? What's his confession to her? His confession is that he feels out in the cold. I saw, I just saw 9-11 on the clock, guys, yeah. <clears throat> so that is yearning. That is a lot of pain due to separation, feeling out in the cold. He really wants to confess that he's not happy, not communicating, not making a move, because he feels left out in the cold. <clears throat> What's blocking him, please? What's his blockage? What's blocking the Divine Masculine? Eight of Wands, K. Okay. 
So he really wants to communicate here, guys, okay? His pride and ego is in the way. That's his blockage. He really desires to do that. <clears throat> What's going on in his karmic situation, please? What's going on in his karmic situation? <laughs> wow, can you believe this? Queen of Cups with the Star card. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy again and Aquarius. Yeah, so the, the thing is that this is the soul connection that he's feeling to his divine feminine, that familiarity, right? This pure, um, extreme, intense soul connection that he feels with her. But then again, he tries to you know, defend it. He tries to block it. It's undeniable. He feels it. She is his complete wish fulfillment. And the thing is that she's not willing to offer her cup that easily. So <clears throat> as, uh, you know, as a counterattack, because he doesn't want his pride and ego to get hurt, he's trying to block himself here trying to defend these feelings. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, let's see. If there's a karmic partner, what's his energy towards this karmic partner, please? What's his energy towards his karmic partner, if any? Hmm. Okay, so <clears throat> if there's a comic partner involved, I feel there's some kind of a news coming in. Again, with the 727 that I said, there's some kind of a news coming in, you know, something related to this karmic partner. Um, if, if there is no karmic partner, <clears throat> I really don't like to concentrate on karmic partners, guys, because, you know, it, it really doesn't help us, uh, the Twin Flames. It, it really just causes conflict and confusion in, in the connection. Karmic partners don't mean anything, okay? This is a, a pure soul connection and nothing or no one can do anything to, to make, to keep the Twins apart, Okay? It, it doesn't happen forever. At some point of time, the twins are bound to come back together. It doesn't matter how many months or years it takes. So yeah, <clears throat> but of course, the karmics are involved in these situations. So that is why I ask about this question. So if there is a karmic partner, there's a news coming in around this karmic partner. Okay, I don't know. It's, if it's a good news or a bad news, I feel this news is going to help the Divine Masculine, <clears throat> um, you know, to do something. Because he knows he's not emotionally happy in this situation with this karmic. So, again, he's, he's trying to do something about it or to make a move or to move further away from this person. In case there is no karmic partner involved, if the Divine Masculine has already left their karmic partner. This is the Page of Wands here, <clears throat> is a confirmation that he is ready to speak up, okay? He's getting ready to make this offer or to at least speak up to the Divine Feminine. <clears throat> The Divine Feminine might be feeling a bit hopeless about this situation, but just wait, Divine Feminine, don't lose heart, okay? Because, you know, if even if you can't see what's happening in the 3D, just know that things are aligning in your favor. <clears throat> uh, silly itch in my throat, okay. What are his long-term intentions for his Divine Feminine, please? What are his long-term intentions for his Divine Feminine? Wow. So he wishes to travel, to see her. Maybe he, he's even 
you know, wanting to go out with her or to take her out on a weekend getaway or a vacation or something. If she has a child, he might offer to bring the child as well so that he can know the child. <clears throat> but this is his intention, okay? Whether or not he actually executes on this is a different matter. But this is what he is intending or planning to do in the future. What's his overall energy, please? What's his overall energy around his Divine Feminine and this connection with her? <clears throat> okay. So the overall energy here is the King of Wands. He's feeling a lot of... <clears throat> Let's see, so we have lizards here and there's a circle, there's no end. Um, some of you might consider lizards as a good omen. Um, for me personally, it's, it's like an omen of negativity, okay? Whenever I see a lizard, um, I, I just know that there's some event coming up where there's going to be negativity involved. So for me, this is like an ongoing cycle of negativity that the Divine Masculine has been suffering from, okay? He's keeping a very straight face. He doesn't show anyone. <clears throat> He's very cool and calm about it on the outside. But within, there's this cycle of negativity just going on and on and on. Okay, why? Because he's feeling left out in the cold. He feels... A lot of <clears throat> guilt. He feels, he just feels that he, you know, there's a big void in his life. Something is always lacking and that is his divine feminine. <clears throat> Lovers in the reverse Gemini energy. And with the king of wands here, we have Sagittarius energy. Lovers in the reverse is him not being able to, you know, really take a decision from his heart, a bold decision based on his heart's desire here. That is why there's this cycle of negativity constantly going on and on. That's the overall energy during this time period. Okay. What physical actions is he taking during this time period towards his Divine Feminine, please? <clears throat> what physical actions is he taking towards her during this time period? Thank you. Wow. So he, he might actually try and apologize in some manner, okay? Page of Pentacles. This is an apology, a sincere apology of some kind. And with the aid of wands here, he just might communicate that in some form to the Divine Feminine, that I'm sorry. In some... Okay, so this is going to play out differently for all of you, because it's a general reading. <clears throat> but there, there seems to be an apology coming up in some form. Okay, let's see. Let's get one more card for the Page of Pentacles here. Why is the Page of Pentacles in his physical actions towards her, please? <clears throat> wow. Okay, so yeah, the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is an offer. He, he just might try and communicate because the Divine Feminine seems to be someone who is going to be accepting truth and only the truth, okay? She doesn't take bullshit and she's very honest herself. So the Queen of Swords here, Libra energy, this is the energy which is actually um, inspiring him to maybe apologize in some manner, okay? Because he understands that she's very truthful and honest and it's not right to keep someone like that um, into 
um, like darkness or uncertainty in some way. So yeah. <clears throat> Let's get one card for this Page of Wands here. Why is the Page of Wands here, please? Why is the Page of Wands here? Thank you. Well. <sighs> Six of Wands. So yeah, this is him wanting to get attention from the Divine Feminine. This is victory. This is also a lot of pride. <clears throat> so if there is a karmic involved, there, you know, there could be some kind of victory that the Divine Masculine is getting over this karmic. Okay, so yeah, this is victory. And it, it seems like that, you know, he's he is being proved right in front of this karmic. Again, if there is no karmic involved. <clears throat> Seven of Swords here. Yeah, so this is him secretly desiring to be noticed by the Divine Feminine. So, okay, but... It could be that he is trying to pretend that, uh, you know, it's just a very casual um, hi and hello and nothing very serious or, you know, some some something like that. Because the Six of Wands is a lot of pride. But he's definitely desiring to speak up and he just might, okay? The thing is that he, he wants to apologize for his behavior, Okay, let's see. <clears throat> what is the outcome of this reading, please, during this time period? What is the outcome? Thank you. Status quo in the reverse. Okay, so this cycle is now going to move. Okay, there, there might have been a lot of silence and not communicating, etc., etc., going on. So the cycle is now breaking. It seems to be breaking. So this is moving forward, whatever this stuck situation was. <clears throat> it's moving ahead. It might be a slow progress, but it is actually moving. It's not stuck anymore. Okay, so that's a good news. Let's see what else, please. Thank you. Wow. <gasps> oh my goodness. The loving woman and the loving man, guys, coming up together. Wow. So this cycle is about, is talking about this connection, guys. You two are coming on the same page, okay? Why? Because the Divine Feminine <clears throat> has portrayed nothing but love and loyalty, trust and and honesty, it is actually inspiring the Divine Masculine to make his move to come forward. There's, just look at this bouquet here. <clears throat> he might be planning to come and see you with a bouquet. Flowers are, of course, a symbol of appreciation. So he, re he really appreciates for you being you. Okay, <clears throat> for the energy that you embody, he's really grateful and appreciative because, you know, that you are so honest and good and pure. It's really inspiring him to make this move. Wow. Okay, <clears throat> what is the guidance for the Divine Feminines watching this video, please? What does the Divine Feminine needs to know? What does the Divine Feminine needs to know during this time period? Thank you. Balance. <clears throat> Blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise. The power of diversity, self-control, patience and balance. So this is the card... Uh, you know, this is the temperance card, basically. So, see, it's saying here, successful compromise. 
<clears throat> you just need to keep yourself balanced. And I've been telling this in my previous readings as well, Divine Feminine. Don't lose heart, okay? It doesn't matter what is happening in 3D. Just know that your Divine Masculine is in love with you, the loving man. Let him portray, you know, let him pretend that it's nothing, okay? It, it's the Matrix twin guys and, you know, it, it's very natural that they behave like that. So don't take it personally. Just embody your pure loving and energy because that is what is helping him to make this move, nothing else, okay? So please keep that in mind. Be positive and be balanced. Don't overthink things because I can see here that you are overthinking and there's like there's a bit of a hopelessness coming up here that he's just going to keep looking at me from a distance. He's not going to make any move. That's not true here. Your loving, kind, welcoming <clears throat> feminine energy is what motivates him to come forward. If you have some kind of a hostility or, <clears throat> you know, despise, um, so low vibrational energies like that, it's not going to help him. It's just going to keep him away from you because he's mirroring your energy, right? The mirror soul. So keep your energy positive and balanced. And he is also going to embody that naturally. <clears throat> okay, what else does the Divine Feminine needs to know, please? Okay, two cards. Hmm. Ten of Wands. So we have, I think Ten of Wands was coming up somewhere else. <clears throat> okay, it was in the Tarot deck here. Hmm. Because I did saw the Ten of Wands in some other um, deck also. So yeah. Ten of Wands. <clears throat> Working too hard or too many hours. The need for balance in life. So the balance thing is coming up again and again, guys. Okay, there, there is a strong need for you to maintain balance, emotional, physical, spiritual, mental, okay? Just make sure you are feeling balanced. Let others help you. Health problems due to stress, yeah? So if you stress too much, it's definitely going to cause you um, some, some kind of a health issue. Could be mental issue as well. <clears throat> feeling drained mentally, so please make sure that you're not feeling this way. Release endings that lead to new beginnings, the need to release situations or people that hold you back, spiritual transformation, wow. Do you see these two towers here? And there's a crescent moon. I feel the two of you are coming on the same page. <clears throat> it doesn't matter what it's looking like in the 3D. And there's a lot of white roses. White roses or white flowers are symbolic of purity, innocence, right? So that purity is returning to your connection. Do not worry. Everything is fine, guys. Just don't worry about it. Release any negativity and just try and keep yourself balanced. <clears throat> take a day off. Go out with your friends. Go out in nature. Relax. Take a long bath. Listen to happy music, right? Write down all positive affirmations in your journal. There are so many things you could do, really. You just need to have that intention that you will not feel this negativity anymore. And the angels and universe will help you, you know, move forward. <clears throat> okay, let's just quickly get some messages from the Divine Masculine. What does he want to say to his Divine Feminine place during this time period? What does the Divine Masculine wants to say to his Divine Feminine during this time period, please? Mm. 
<clears throat> I'm planning a careful approach. Eleven, eleven here. So if you are seeing eleven, eleven on the clock, or you know anywhere you go, it's a sign that he is approaching you. He's going to come, guys. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> okay. Four more cards, please. What else does he want to say to his Divine Feminine? I want to do it from the back and pull your hair. Hmm. So I feel... <laughs> okay, so this could go two ways. <clears throat> He's feeling very sexual about the Divine Feminine. And he really likes to have a back view of her. Maybe Divine Feminine has really long, thick, beautiful hair and he might be someone who is into pulling the hair while doing it. This could be, <clears throat> this could also be talking about him wanting to approach the Divine Feminine in such a manner where she doesn't really recognize that it's really him, right? So, yeah, some, some, sort of, some sort of an insecurity coming up in him. He doesn't want a very confrontational, um, <clears throat> um, what do you say? Um, he doesn't want to approach her, like, from... So basically, he doesn't want her to confront him in some manner. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> what else, please? Three more cards. What else does he want to say to his Divine Feminine during this time period? Okay, I'm going to contact you very soon. Yes, that's true. He might be messaging you or texting you very soon. Could be a call as well. So, yeah. And this is for the Divine Feminines who were especially feeling very hopeless about this, okay? And if you haven't thought about your Divine Masculine in a while, and because, you know, you have that, <clears throat> um, like, you feel that he's just not going to do that, it's useless. If you were in that energy and you were not, and you just stopped thinking about him, it, this is basically, you know, this is telling you that he is going to contact you very soon. It could be in these four days, 25th through 28th, or could be in, in, in one or two weeks for some of you. <clears throat> okay, two more cards. What else does he want to say to her, please? Wow. You are always on my mind. I am so obsessed with you. That's true. He's obsessed, always thinking about you. That is why trying to defend his feelings and going out with other people so that he can forget about you. <clears throat> I know you are my twin flame. I'm pretending to be happy. It's all a facade. Yeah, so wearing a mask with the king of wands here again. It's all a facade, guys. He is not happy where he is. It's a confirmation, double confirmation, actually. I see my future with you. You're it. <clears throat> For some of you, the Divine Masculine might have actually come to know about Twin Flames. If this is not a Twin Flame, this could also be talking about him feeling this intense soul connection with the Divine Feminine. And he knows that there is something different about this connection. What is this familiarity? What is this feeling of knowing her from, you know, so long as if I have known her all, all my life? What is that feeling? So he knows there's something weird and different about this. So that could also be... Um, you know, this card is talking about, if you are seeing a lot of infinity symbols, just know it's a confirmation that your Divine Masculine feels this intense connection as well. You are not the only one, Divine Feminine. This is a confirmation, infinity symbols everywhere, okay? So yeah, <clears throat> this was our reading, guys. I hope it helped and resonated. 
um, I'm sending you much love and light. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.